OK, so today I'm going to show you how you can password protect files and folders on your Windows PC. This will also encrypt them, which is great if you're storing some of your files and folders on the cloud and you really want to make sure they're doubly secure. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to download a program onto our PC. Now this will work, I believe, with all Windows versions from, I believe, v Windows 7 right up to Windows 11 and possibly Windows 12 when it comes out. So what we need to do is we need to open our browser. So I'm just going to open up Edge and at the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the top, delete out anything that might be in there and then just type in there to, that's the number two, bright spark. Com. So that's twobrightsparks.com, the number two. If you need to, pause this video, jot this down, and then unpause the video when you're ready. Press the enter or return key on your keyboard. And if you've typed the correct address into your browser, then you should see this page or something similar. What you want to do is you want to click on Downloads and then go to download one click utilities. So there we go. There's one click utilities. These are all free in here and we need to scroll down and we want to click on encrypt on click secures files out of sight. So left click once on that and then go down to the blue download encrypt on click click left click once on that and then it should start downloading. Now it should appear in the top right hand corner of your browser if it does click on open file or click on the file name encrypt on click underscore setup. If you can't see it in there in the top right hand corner, then close your browser down, go into any yellow folder, then go to downloads just over there on the left or just up there under quick access. And you should see there encrypt on click underscore setup, double left click on that. Right now we should be all at the same place part. So it says here, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? If it says encrypt on click and the verify publisher is too bright sparks PTE LTD, then it's OK to click yes. Now, some people might not see this, but all of you should see the license agreement. Now, read through the license agreement. Make sure that you accept everything in there. Click on the little circle to the left of I accept the agreement and then click on next. Click on next again. Click on next again and next again. And do you want to create a desktop shortcut? Yeah, why not? Leave the tick in there. But if you don't take the tick out, move your mouse over next left click once again. OK, so then once it's completed the install, we need to take the tick out of join the mailing list there. But make sure there's a tick in launch encrypt on click. And the idea is with this, it's going to allow you to encrypt or decrypt files or folders. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to demonstrate to you how to encrypt a file and then decrypt it. So let's just close this down because we don't actually need this open. So I'm just going to go into my documents folder there and I've got this spreadsheet here called book one. OK, this has got very important stuff in that I need to encrypt so that nobody else can get to it. So all I need to do is move my mouse over the file name, click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. And if I'm using in Windows 11, click on show more options. And up here we have got encrypt decrypt with encrypt on click. So left click on that. And now it's going to ask us for a password. So I'm just going to type in a simple password, just going to call it password. And then I'm going to click in confirm password and again call that password. And Comment there, optional. You can give a hint to the password if you want to. If you want to check that you've typed in the password correctly, then you can click on show password there. Uh, do not delete file after encrypting. We'll leave that unticked for the moment and encrypt file names. Again, we'll leave that unticked. So let's just click on OK. And then what we'll see is, oh, look, it's disappeared. 
that book one file. But if I scroll down to the bottom there, there it is. And if I try and open that now, rather than opening, it asks us for the password. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into password and just type in the password that I set, which was a nice and easy one. I wouldn't advise you using an easy one like this. This is just to demonstrate the actual program. Click on OK. And after a few seconds, there we go. Book one appears with its original icon and I can open it up again. So let's just close that down. But what if I want to encrypt a whole folder? So say, for instance, I wanted to, I don't know, go into pictures there and I've got a folder there called phone pictures. These are very sensitive. I want to encrypt those. So all I do is I just right click on the folder. If I'm running Windows 11, left click show more options. Unfortunately, at the current time of recording this video, we don't have the facility here to right click and encrypt a whole folder. So what we have to do is we, let's just close down this window. We have to go into encrypt on click the actual program there. If you've got a shortcut to it on the desktop, desktop there. If not, click on the start button and click on all apps and just look for it here in the A to Z. If you can't find it in there, then just type on your keyboard encrypt. And after a few seconds, under best match, encrypt on click should appear. So left click that. And then here we go. Here's an option here to encrypt a folder. So let's just click folder there under encrypt on the left. And then let's just go and click pictures and click phone photos. Click on OK. And again, it asks us to type in a password. So I'm just going to use an easy password for this. If you're typing in a password, make sure it's something strong. Click on OK. And it's going through all of the files in that folder and it's encrypting them. So let's just go into a yellow folder there, go into pictures and there you go, there's phone photo. So if we go into that, there you go. As you can see, it's encrypted every single one of those photos. Now, what we can do is we can just double click on one of them to unencrypt it individually. So let's just type in the password, click on OK, and that's encrypted unencrypted that one particular photo. So that is now able to be seen. These others here though are not unencrypted. Now, what if you want to unencrypt the whole folder? Let's just come out of this, go into encrypt on click again, click on folder underneath decrypt, choose the folder there, phone photos, click on OK, type in the password that you set for that folder. I'm just going to click show password. Yep, just to make sure that I've typed in the right password. Click on OK and there you go. It's unencrypting all of those. So let's just close that once it's done. Click on the yellow folder there. Click on pictures and let's just see go into phone photos. All of the pictures or files that are in that folder have now been unencrypted. So there you go. A great little tool to enable you to heavily protect your files, your pictures, your videos, your music, especially good if you're storing it in the cloud and you really want to make sure that your files are doubly secure. I hope you like this video and if it helped you out, then please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you're looking for a VPN or want to have a look through my Amazon shop or looking for a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, Fire Stick accessories, etc., then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you too. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos whilst you're looking around that you think your friend your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, I'm at CWTEK 
Alt alternatively, if you want to have a look at my website, it's cwtek.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and speak to you again soon.